1001 Inventions aims to spark young people's interest in science while promoting lesser-known stories of pioneers of science from the golden age of Arabic science. We're so excited to be at Milton Keynes Central Library as part of the City of Codes and Light Festival. We're delighted to see so many families and kids and schools coming in to join our activities and we're loving all the engagement and inter interactivity with the children. I got to get super messy. I really enjoy learning new things and having fun. We were approached to see if we would host the event and we're always looking for new things. Um, I think it's prime location for Milton Keynes City, the Central Library, and we've been able to welcome over a thousand children, not only from Milton Keynes, but also from other towns and cities um, locally. So for instance, I know we've had children from Luton, we've had children from Bedford, and even yesterday we had some from Coventry. Families, when they come in, they start by uh, watching like a short film. Uh, again, going, taking them back in history to learn more about Jabir ibn Hayyan, one of the pioneers of chemistry. Followed by that, they watch a very interactive live show. Uh, we're really bringing together arts and the sciences to excite children and make them very enthusiastic and interested in the sciences, but also in arts and culture. The theory behind experiments and science is hugely important, but I think for a younger age group, you want to get your hands in and then understand what you're doing. It's very important that you're doing, you know, we're not lecturing, we're giving them a taste and igniting the curiosity that hopefully they'll take to their homes, their classrooms and will last a lifetime. What makes science so important is that we need to understand it and I think what we're trying to do here it's kind of create an atmosphere and an environment where kids are excited by it. It's practical, it's hands-on, it's messy, it's fun. And I think for a kid, that's an absolute dream. So it's been brilliant. We did Ooblack, which was really fun. You put your hand in it and then you get incredibly messy. <laughs> So in this event we have a total of four stations, uh, each with its own experiment. Science is a very difficult subject, but if they have the passion for it, that difficulty does not matter. And uh, doing interactive so uh, stuff like this um, builds their passion for the subject. I'm an A-level student at Shenley Brook End School, and I study biology, chemistry and maths. I have participated in this event to inspire children to pursue chemistry. As myself, I love chemistry, so make sure these children enjoy what I enjoy. It's been very interactive, they're very keen on listening. It's been a great time. It's very important to excite children about science because we're looking for pioneers of science, we're looking for scientists of the future. I'm just really fascinated of it very much. And I like learning because it just, it just gives me ideas and I like it because I tell lots of people of it. So we have made some soap and we did making our own perfumes. And the elephant's two face! Amazing! I have been being messy which was my favourite part of the day. It was fascinating. Very interactive, um, very entertaining for the children and I'm certain that they'll take some lessons home with them. I always use Confucius as saying, I hear I forget, I see I may remember, I do and I understand. So when they're doing it themselves they will understand it. We're so excited to be part of the Codes and Light Festival and um, it's amazing that tonight um, most of our you know, families attending here will get to see um, a digital projection uh, on the library. So it's so exciting to be in the library doing all the engagement but seeing from outside further engagement uh, using 1001 Inventions resources. So our images from our books and uh, will come to life with this digital projection. It's been amazing working with the team at the Milton Keynes Central Library and with the City Council as well to bring this event to the town. Uh, we loved working with them. Uh, it's fantastic to have the public library open and be buzzing with activity and engagement. And we hope that those who came to the library for the first time will be coming back on and on and on again.